Ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable considering the media coverage is just not only vehemently against Trump always, but obsessed. The media, they're obsessed with President Trump. They're obsessed with taking him down. They are Their only goal in life is to try to embarrass, disparage, demean President Trump. That's all they do. It's not about truth. It's not about, you know, trying to communicate to the American people the reality of what's going on. It's constant hysteria, and they just want, they, they don't like the fact that they lost 2016. Clinton is going to be nominee again, in large part, uh, because Paul finds Trump ahead of Biden in 15 battleground states. This is the hill. But I, I have my article in the Times of Israel out. Share that everywhere. Hillary Clinton, not Biden, will be nominee. Share that. If you're on Facebook, share that everywhere right now. And also share Hillary Clinton 2020 is a reality. Get ready for eight years of Trump. I wrote that in February of 2017 in the Huffington Post. But here, a poll conducted by SSRS of 15 battleground states found former Vice President Joe Biden trailing President Trump. The same poll conducted for CNN found Biden ahead of Trump nationally, but losing in the 15 states that might decide the vote in the electoral that might decide the vote in the electoral college. Look, the most important swing states are Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida, and you can you, Iowa is actually quite important. Okay, um, but but they have swing states here. They 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 put uh, North Carolina. Um, Arizona swing states. I don't find. I I don't think that they're swing states. But anyway, so surveyed 583 people across 15 states that were decided by eight points or fewer in 2016. The margin for the battleground battleground states alone was 5.3 points. The 15 states are Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Maine. Georgia, no, Georgia's a red state. Uh, Arizona's a red state too. Uh, Kristen Cinema won with like a million recounts, and that was a very interesting midterm. But anyway, the 15 states are Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Well, I've been, I, I've given up. I mean, I, look, I will. This will be the second election I accurately predict. Hillary Clinton's going to be defeated again by. President Trump. It's going to be Clinton versus Trump, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do this all over again. We're just waiting. They're taking their sweet time. They're taking their sweet time to just try to, you know, find the right time to pass the baton. If 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 Biden can find the baton, or if he knows what a baton is, or if he knows where he is. But here, Trump lead Trump's Trump's lead Trump leads Biden in the poll across those states, fifty two percent to 45%. So he leads by seven points in 15 battleground states. Nationally, the poll finds Biden leads Trump 51 to 46%. Well, I mean, who cares? So, you, so he gets that this is the thing with Democrats, media, liberals, they're like, well, you know, we have a, you know, we have a, a nationwide lead over you. Well, you have to win the electoral college. You knew that. You can try, go, you, you, you control the house. Democrats control the house. No Medicare for All bill and no abolishing the Electoral College bill. They could have simply just tried to rewrite the Constitution like they've, <laughs> like they've been obsessing over for the past year or for four years and tried to re or, or pack the courts. What, what a bunch of petulant, sad, pathetic fools. They don't like something. They just want to you know do away with it. It's not like their message is horrible. They're cheaters. They're corrupt. It's oh well, you know, we lost. It was it was just you know, it was an anomaly, and you know, Trump didn't really win. And Russia helped him. Oh, now we're finding out Russia didn't help him. Now we're oh, check out my latest segments on Richard Burr. Um, also, check out H.A. Goodman's other channel. I talk a little bit about one of the polls that show President Trump up in battleground states, but that was a different poll. This is the second poll, ladies and gentlemen. The second poll. I, I talked about a CNN poll in um on H.A. Goodman's other channel. But check out Bizarro World. Goodman, subscribe to both of those channels. They're below in the pinned comment in the description. And um, if you want to support my voice long term, my Patreon is below to my new Patreons. Thank you so very much. Very, very kind of you. 
Uh, there, that's in the description section and pinned comment also. Just go down. You have a whole bunch of stuff you can read in the description and the pinned comment, all my writing. Uh, I'm redoing my website, so I don't actually have a website right now, but with everything going on, it's, take, you know, it's taking a while. But anyway, 15 states. He's up by seven points in 15 battleground states. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. I'm going to repeat it in a very annoying way, which is my hallmark in life. 15 states, he's up by seven points. And you had four years and every day and every second of media obsessed. They have sold their souls to malice and contempt and this kind of insidious indig- indignation, this outrage they have for Trump. It's, it's not even, it's not rooted in reality. He didn't do what Bush did, baby Bush, the, the imbecile, moron, who stated that um, we ha- basically got us into never-ending military conflict that President Trump is reversing. So notice, nobody, no, the left media has no clue why anyone would support President Trump. I know why people would support Bernie Sanders. I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post. I was the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. I know why somebody would be on the left. And then I realized the hypocrisy. I realized um, that when they have a chance to implement their allegedly cherished values into law, they don't. They don't pass any bill. Where's the Medicare for All bill? Oh, that's right. So AOC is now Biden's new climate you know, official, climate change chief <laughs> official, which is one reason you know that Clinton's running. Okay. Uh, another reason. But... Where's the Green New Deal legislation? I thought there was leg- I thought that we're not going to last as a species on this planet. So they're pretty cavalier with all their uh, doomsday scenarios. If you, this is the one thing. This is why I left the Democratic Party. We'll never go back again. Uh, and I don't can't imagine voting Democrat ever again unless they completely cl- tear down and rebuild their political party, which won't happen. Clinton's going to run in 2024 again. I will have made the biggest political call of all time, ladies and gentlemen, but they, they, they claim moral superiority because they acknowledge climate change, but they don't do anything about it. Where is this legislation? Where are the laws being passed pertaining to climate change, pertaining to a Green New Deal, pertaining to student debt? All of these, you know, all you hear is this whining and complaining and shrieking and, and screeching and it's like, it's like I, I listen to, uh, I, I, I sometimes listen to Margaret Thatcher, um, you know, just old clips of her in the House of Commons. And it was her, her last House of Commons uh, uh, visit. It was her last House of Commons visit. And she mentioned how she had to answer throughout her tenure, 11 years as prime minister. I think she believes she won three elections. Uh, and... and, and if you're if you're watching from the UK, you know, it, give me your thoughts on this. She answered something like two thousand, uh, no more than that. Like, just she mentioned a number of like thousands of questions during House of Commons question time, where they would debate thousands of questions. I think it was you know, just a, 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 an amazing number of questions that she had to debate answer. She would refute arguments and, and offer a rebuttal always, always. She, just, she never shied away from, um, from a, regardless, regardless whether you like or dislike her politics. or She was one of the strongest female leaders in world history and, and British history. And British history has strong female leaders, but... The point is she never shied away from addressing questions, debating big issues, uh, really tackling uh, ideas and, and battling in the form of ideas. Never once any setback did Mar- Margaret Thatcher face where she blamed the world 
She blamed Russia for her failures. She blamed, uh, oh my God, uh, bias for her failures. She blamed this or that. She bl she never blamed media for her failures. You want to know why Margaret Thatcher isn't in the book of gutsy women? The list of gutsy women by Hillary Clinton, because Clinton is the antithesis of Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher uh, never had, um, n never, never complained or used as an excuse this notion that the world is unfair and uh, you know everyone's against me. Clinton does that for the, she's done that for the past four years. And that's what Democrats do, and so. You have this mindset, and, and notice that Trump doesn't blame any failures on media. He just blames the media for not being fair to him, which is true. Trump's president, he never blamed his, his he has, he's had bankruptcies, fine, but he's still worth billions, but he never blamed his bankruptcies on anyone or anything in particular. He never blamed Russia. He never blamed another country for any failures he had. Democrats, media, Clinton, all they do is blame, blame, blame. And they've, they've, look, people know in November who tanked the entire economy. Now you have mortality rate projections plummeting. Now you have all the projections that, 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 that served as the foundation for this, basically doing away with the United States economy, being projected downward. So, you know, you gave the keys to a bunch of, uh, of, of doctors, the keys to the economy, to, the, the keys to the economy to a bunch of doctors. You might as well have had the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve Board uh, being, you know, overrun by um, Dr. Fauci and everyone else. I mean, you, you might as well have had that. The United States economy now, we, didn't, we basically didn't have an economy for, for two months or so. And who would have ever thought that? And Democrats still, and media still, are you sure you want to begin life? I don't know. And then they're wearing the mask like it's a badge of courage. Like it's like, oh my God. It's like Trump should put every commercial with Pelosi with one of those masks. Because the, the Americans haven't had their their psyches altered yet. We Most people still look at those masks as like, you know, it's like a bank robber or like some kind of bandit. So, but they're like, look at me, I'm so special. It's like you're just putting a mask on and nothing special about you. Of course, if you are on uh, the quote unquote, uh, they use this term front lines. It's like, okay, if you're a healthy person, the mortality rate, there's like a 99% chance you're going to survive even if you do get it. But people were on the front lines, especially their doctors and nurses, especially in New York, the epicenter, who by, by the way, uh, run by Cuomo and de Blasio and Schumer. And why do you think, Jill and Brennan, why do you think that is the epicenter of everything and they don't get any pushback from media? So why, what's this whole giant long winded rant about? It's, he's up and he's up by seven points. He's up by seven points in 15 swing states. And that's with media obsessed that's with the economy going from record low unemployment, record low unemployment, to now <laughs> like Mad Max Waterworld. We're almost at that, you know, dystopian level. So it's pretty unbelievable. It's pretty unbelievable. But ladies and gentlemen, Biden is not going to be nominee. The survey found, okay, so... The survey, the, the Biden, if he is ever forced to debate, which he won't be, because it'll be Clinton again, Biden would not would get completely obliterated by Trump, and they know this. They know this. We have thirty million people unemployed in this country, ladies and gentlemen, and it, it it's not nobody nobody blames Trump. I mean, people. Let's put it this way: the average American, the independent voter. And that's and Trump is leading independence by a wide margin. The swing state voter, and now he's leading 15 states by seven points. The voter that's going to make a difference, the voter that could have been swayed to vote Democrat, and this is it's taken me about 15 minutes to get to an actual really good point. Uh, well, I've made some good points, but the voter who could have actually given the election to Democrats, that voter isn't blaming Trump for their problems. That voter is blaming Democrats and, and, 
and media for saying, do you really want to live life? I don't know. Um, it, it was never a choice, by the way. It was never a choice between licking toilet seats and um, taking precautions. It was never that choice. That was never the choice, ladies and gentlemen. That was never, ever the choice. So, give me your thoughts below. It, it, we could have had healthy people work, work, wear masks, engage in social distancing, not visit granny uh, at the end of the day, you know? Like, I mean, the whole thing was, oh my God, you could visit grandma. Well, that's... It, <laughs> Cuomo literally put infected old people in old age homes to infect everyone else. That's what Cuomo did. So... I mean, you look at, my God almighty, like, Cuomo nursing homes. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Cuomo reverses nursing home directive to take um, infected patients. Oh, my God. Why would you do this? It's, like, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then they had a $6 billion budget deficit before this. Now, California, who knows how, what the budget deficit is will be for New York. California has a $54 billion budget deficit. California has a $54 billion budget deficit. So, but I mean, this, this catastrophe that, that took place in the United States of America, the remedy was fueled by hysteria and this this contempt for Trump. It wasn't a thoughtful, like, okay, how can we ensure we don't have another Great Depression and save lives? It should always have been about keeping society functioning and saving lives. Instead, it was uh, politically motivated because you had Democrats voting. So that's like the a parent that buys a Ferrari but doesn't have... Uh, money for braces for the kids. You had Democrats voting in four primaries where you have millions of people touching doorknobs and in lines and millions of people and, uh, you know, congregating. And then, you ha then, then they said, well, you can't work. You can't work, but you can vote. That makes sense? And it wasn't just March 17th in Illinois, Florida, and Arizona. It was also... Um, it was also um, in Wisconsin. Give me your thoughts below, ladies and gentlemen. President Trump is up seven points. Seven points in 15 battleground states, people. Seven points in 15 battleground states. And that's with media obsessed. But getting back to, it's like the world has gone from Margaret Thatcher, who succeeded and was a it was a strong, powerful leader. One of the, you can, you can again, you, you could disagree with her policies, whatever, but a strong, powerful leader, prime minister uh, for, um, what, 11 years to Clinton, <laughs> who lost, had every advantage possible, then blamed everything under the sun and will lose again. And she'll run again in 2024. She could possibly win then. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so very much. Subscribe to Atria Goodman's other channel, Bizarro World Goodman. That's a great channel. And also, please share my Times of Israel article everywhere um, on Facebook right now. Thank you. It's below in the pinned comment and description.